Technology versus trash. A high-tech boat is using drones to map out some of the worst floating trash piles in the ocean. That boat stopped in Hawaii to offer an important lesson. KITV Force Pete Kajano has a behind-the-scenes tour. It's fast, modernized, and on a mission to save the world. The Race for Water Odyssey Trimaran has arrived in Hawaii. It's a short stopover on a mission to map and study the world's five biggest plastic ocean trash vortices. The Hawaiian Islands sits right in the middle of one of the biggest. The Hawaiian archipelago is like a comb, and it combs the debris out of the gyre and, 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 and collects it. And, uh, and it's a problem for all sorts of wildlife. The vessel uses sensors on board and drones like this guy to seek out plastics. The SenseFly EB, it's a lightweight, highly portable, unmanned aerial vehicle that allows us to, uh, to remotely sense the environment and generate uh, pictures with incredible resolution to be able to detect marine debris on beaches. In the future, cleanup drones could possibly be dispatched to collect that plastic. Drones can also be used when out to sea to map those plastic vortices spinning around the world. The mission goes beyond that. The goal, not only to gather data, but to influence consumer decisions, ditch the plastic in favor of more environmentally conscious choices. Crew members say each time you do that, you're making a difference. Pretty much every piece of plastic that we've created in the last 60 years is still somewhere in the environment. And so, uh, yeah, you can imagine that it's going to start to pile up. Pete Cajano, KTV4 News. The next stop for the crew is Japan. They expect to make it there in the next three weeks.